Welcome everybody in episode 10. War with Iran is all over the place. I got it as soon as it came out on Twitter. I was going through the news trying to set up you know what, what to do today. I was to talk about the uh, PMIs and the service numbers that are coming out tomorrow. Talk about the market, what I did today. I tweeted out that I was looking at gold to make the, the jump to 1530 and the hold. And then we're going to push for that 1550, 1560, depending on which uh, which uh, indicator you use. Because uh, you use gold uh, price, it says 1550, you use uh, what website I mean? The other one, uh, Market Watch, says 1560. So they're all, it varies. But that's what I was looking for. That's what I tweeted out, you know, just to let you guys know. And then uh, I was going to explain to you the levels again, just to some of you, you know, there's more people now. They're asking me, and so I was gonna explain the levels. It's 1530. We need to hold that. <clears throat> it's a key level. And there will be a push to 1550. But with this news that came out today, Trump okayed the, the airstrike that killed the, the top general from uh from Iran, from Iran, from Iran. Sorry. This is not gonna go well because if you put yourself on the other side, you know. They had killed one of our generals, our tar tarp general, our four star general. I mean, we will go to war. I don't know how they're, they're going to de escalate this. I had told one of my friends, you know, just talking to him that I that we knew that Iran or China was buying oil from Iran. It came out in articles, you know, they were, you know, their sanctions were, they were sanctioned. They still needed the oil. China has a growing population still, so they were going there. Told him like I was on uh, oil. If war broke out, <clears throat> but I thought it would be with China down the road, but I didn't think it would be like this. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how they're gonna de-escalate this, cause I thought we were just, you know, playing. It was real. You know what happened with the every time we got hot, Trump got hot with them, but it was always sanctions. It wasn't anything real. It wasn't anything serious. But with this, I mean. We're gonna, they're gonna have to retaliate or you know do some some serious uh, retaliation. Probably attack the bases in, uh, that we have over there. The don't know if Russia and China are gonna get involved, but they were doing exercises earlier today, before this happened. So it's, it's a big thing. So the market, of course, reacted. If we go to war. Oil's obviously gonna go up. Demand just kicked up. The supplies we have here, you know, just kicked up. Iran does have its oil, you know, so it's going to go up as well. This is a, a time. <laughs> I'm looking to see, because it's wrong to profit from, from uh, war. I'm pretty sure almost I, all of us know, but, you know, if it's going to happen, you know, how do we make money off of it? It's kind of... Awkward to say, because even though you know I said it before, talking to my friend about it, that was long oil because of war, because it was gonna jump up, and if oil goes up, you know, inflation goes up due to how much you know is used everywhere, and the gold will go up. That's what ha that's what's happening right now because it jumped last time. The last time, the last thing that happened that was the serious thing, but it de-escalated was when the Saudi Arabia's oil reserves, the biggest oil reserve, got hit. Oil jumped up, but it never fell. It came back down below 50. And now it worked its way back all the way back up to 60 where we were at. With this news, oil moved up 3% to 15. The uh, you know, US oil, you know, WTI jumped up to uh, two bucks basically. But natural gas, everything's gonna go up. Almost all, all of them are really cheap. If this starts to de escalate, you probably you, you will know it will start signs will be showing up so if you have any calls because you were long or you have any shares this should go up to this should be going higher and of course look to see if you could uh you have to keep up with the news because if, if it starts to de-escalate a little or starts hinting at, at some form of de-escalation i doubt it then you could sell it off. It could be a one-day event like last time, but this time a, a top general was killed, so it's going 
I firmly believe is gonna go to war because I don't under, I don't know how we cannot how they I mean how can they not retaliate in some form against the the U.S. So I'm gonna give you the plays that I have uh, on my watch list on a wa and a watch list. I call it the war stocks. <laughs> oil isn't in there. I have oil on the energy side, but this one's on the Yahoo site. The main one I'm kind of, I'm looking at because undervalued due to its, its other thing is Boeing. Boeing has a war side to it. You know, there's a duopoly when it with the airplanes, Airbuses, but I mean with Airbus, but it's also a defense company. So that one I'm really looking at to see what it does. You know, depending if this continues to escalate, you know, is is a is in a save a lot of uh, a lot of Boeing pain and oil sectors and I mean it's gonna jump it's gonna go up this is probably 52 weeks high uh, in a year from now if war if war does break out I want at some point <clears throat> so here's the one from a uh, market watch gold is at 1542 so tomorrow if it continues to escalate it will be 1550. I think this one says 1560 real quickly just look at it mm, should be in six months damn this dollar one mm. sorry about that we guys want to look at the top so okay so this one's 1560 that was September yeah it was so that's the level that, that we break up above that Probably 1570 around there uh, will be the area that I, that I uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some. If it stays at 1542, I might add more, but I want to. By the time morning comes, we will know, we'll have a lot more news. I mean, a lot more to digest. But if it continues to escalate, we should easily reach 1550, 1556, and then you know whatever you want to do. I mean, I had calls that were not gonna make it. Like I, I didn't think they were gonna make it, uh, because they expire tomorrow. Something if it moves high, like I'm legitly, I, which is nothing, but wasn't expecting a move like that for 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 something you know a one time event that could lead to a longer time, you know, war. A lot of people are gonna are gonna die if we go to war. I think I believe last time I checked they had a number is three to one. That was years ago. That's when I thought we were gonna like when I was in high school. They have a growing mass growing population over there. So I'm a little concerned because I don't you know, obviously we have family members are younger than us. <clears throat> so we're gonna see what, what happens tomorrow with all this, you know, obviously all the futures in the US, they're down as of now, two hundred and nine. HCP uh, minus 26, basically with the gain today. Silver is up, you know. Now, if this continues to grow, you know, and throughout the day, the other thing I will be looking at, it will be silver. If silver jumps gold and does a 2 to 1, and if it pushes to 5%, silver pushes 5%. If it gets to 5 and it starts, whole, people start selling it, I might look to unload some of the contracts that I have. That'll, that'll be one of the ways I'll, I'll keep be keeping uh, in touch with it to see what the market do, is doing or you know see if, if it's daisy escalating. If not, I mean I have a lot of them until February. Right? The majority of, majority of them that I have and then most of them that I bought today when I was tweeting out was it was until February. So, I mean, does it hurt to take profit? But if it doesn't de-escalate, you know, if it continues going up, gold is a safe haven. Safe haven. People are gonna jump to it. It's just it is what it is, you know. Can't do anything from, from you know all this. Even crypto's jumping from on the news, and you know, every every people are gonna look to to make money. So I was gonna talk about the uh, like I said, the manufacturing data. I thought I already clicked on it. Oh, this is tomorrow's. Okay, this is tomorrow's. This is the ISM. I'm like, whoa. But today's data data was the PMI. What? 
There we go. So it came out a little negative. No, not much. It's still holding there. Still not still not above it. <clears throat> that true of 5052.6, but it went a little negative. So tomorrow I'm expecting the service, which is a bigger part of the economy nowadays, because we don't manufacture as much over here. That will come out tomorrow at 7. 10 Eastern, 7 hours, uh, Pacific, 7 California. So. so I'm going to keep an eye on that. that. That was what I was looking for, and the minutes came out today, and I wanted to see you know, if they hinted anything about the repo market. I said I was going to keep you guys updated, but I haven't had a chance to, to dig into it, and I haven't heard of uh, Bloomberg. Like, or like I said, I work, you know, I still have my day job. I'm working in a giant refrigerator, so we don't, we're, not allowed, we're not allowed headphones because headphones, there's a warehouse, so I wasn't able to hear it. So I might <clears throat> hear something tomorrow, uh, but I'll definitely read it tomorrow. It's a little easier day. So I'll, I'll do another video tomorrow letting you guys know, because, you know, this is going to be a massive move. It's futures, you know. Uh, okay, so I should have it here. All right. So here's the stocks I was talking about. I said Boeing was the one, the main one that I was looking at to get. To add a little bit on it, you know, calls. I'm not sure how many, but it depends on how, how the news breaks out, how it moves. That I'll look to have some. UTX, uh, as well, United Technologies Corporations is overvalued of now, but, you know, like I said, it, the RSI is uh, indicating it's overbought, then, you know, it'll work it off quickly. Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin, near for evaluation, Honeywell. So these are the ones that you, you know, these are the usual suspects. You know, these are the ones that go up most of the time. So those are the ones I have. Those, you're welcome to add them to your watch list and just keep an eye on them. See, you know, see how they trade throughout the day. But I think one of the biggest manufacturers of this will be Boeing. Due to the other side, even though it has you know problems with the the 737 Max, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get a nice boost to the stock. But again, these, if it de-escalates, I don't know how. But if it does de-escalate, great. That's what you. That's what we want. If it doesn't, then you know you're gonna want to be long all these uh energy stocks and the defense stocks. War, I call them you know they're war stocks. Department of Defense, Department of War, renamed it. So you just, just add these and then uh, keep an eye on them and see how the market does tomorrow. It's a little weird talking about it because people are going to die. It's going to die. And it's going to be a big thing. And don't know, but I will suspect China or Russia to help them out since uh, kind of buddy-buddy. Not everything should... Every, the, it's hard to talk about, you know, stuff when you know, like stuff like this, because it's a sensitive matter. But I really, really can't do much about it. I mean, there's only so much we could do. But I just wanted to make a quick video on it, because I know it's, it's a big thing. I'll have more on it tomorrow. I'll tell you guys how the market is. Just keep an eye on, like I said, on, on the gold price. We're above fifteen thirty. We're, we're gonna hold it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna hold it throughout the weekend. And uh, if we hit that fifteen fifty six, like uh, like I said, depends on what website you use. Gold price is at fifteen fifty. Just keep an eye on it. And if we break up above that, uh, it's gonna be more upside. Silver. Hopefully, you guys have silver as well. Copper. I mean, just have have metals. You know. Commodities, they're all gonna, they're all gonna go up. Demand. All right, guys, it took enough of your time. I just want to make this quick video.